This is a uh, take three, which kind of like goes with the point. I'm back at school and something that I've been really wrestling with after being back in school is being like a huge people pleaser. Like there's this, this atmosphere of superficiality that I really wrestle with. It really just taps into that wound of mine where I just want to like please everyone and everything I do is dictated by what others are thinking about me. And this is getting very uncomfortable. <laughs> What time is it right now? 8.25 in the morning. Oh, bad. that's right, because we're on a hike. We left around like 6.30 this morning. We drove to Charlottesville, Virginia, 50 something degrees, which is colder than I'm used to anymore. It's a brisk hike, it's a brisk walk, but. Oh yeah, out of breath. So... <laughs> okay, I'm out of shape. They don't need to remind, oh shoot. So it, never try to run a bear because it can't run you. Oh, uh, duh. Dude, have you heard of bear spray? Yes, uh -huh. but they recommend that you spread directly into the parent's eyes, which is <laughs> Which means you have to get uh, close yeah, enough. Which means you have to get close enough. <laughs> like, can we juke the bear? <laughs> Break its ankles? <laughs> <laughs> you see the bear coming, you're like... Oh! oh. <laughs> there goes someone's water bottle. Bear escape tactics 101. Shh, Tell them how to do it. Shh, they can't see if you don't move. I'm stuck. <laughs> ben earlier was talking about confidence and what that has to do with being a people pleaser. You see, people talk about confidence like it's this thing that we don't have. You hear a guy who says, oh man, I don't have confidence. I need to find my confidence. It's not a thing, it's a state of mind. Oh, it's you, this idea of accepting that you are the way you are. Humility, uh, it's, because God created you a certain way. There's gonna be people in life that don't like you. There's gonna be people in life that don't accept you, that think a certain way about you. Confidence is just accepting. I think there's a lot of people in the world who have a lot of difficulty like accepting who they are because the world offers them standards that are just un like completely unrealistic. Like I think we worry so much about what other people are thinking because we have this standard in our heads about what it, what it means to be accepted or what it means to be good or what it means to be loved or wanted or desired. You can't control what other people are gonna think about you. And you can't control what they're gonna say or even how they look at you. It's a prison. The thing about prisons is that the longer you're in there, the more it becomes your reality. And what does that mean? You lose sight of who you are. Yeah, yeah, you really do. You just kind of mold yourself to what everyone else is thinking. Yeah, no, that's actually no really like true. This yeah. Where's the real version? Exactly, yeah. Hey, so, um, yeah, I sprained my ankle. <laughs> Ben's carrying me for a little bit. This isn't a joke. He actually said, I should carry you. And I was like, I can't run away from you, so, I mean, it might as well. So, quick update. Uh, my ankle's doing better. <laughs> and watch as I'm like recording this, I trip again and I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Being tall and clumsy is such a poor combination. You know what I mean? It's funny for all of us. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> So what are some practical ways that we can grow in confidence and kind of push back against maybe like worrying about what others are thinking about us? Get to know yourself. Accepting who you are. Yes, know yourself. The way to do that is spend some time by yourself. Oh. How do you get to know a person when you meet them? You spend time with them. So it could be hiking in the woods, like going to a coffee shop or a bookstore, reading a book. Just spending time by yourself. You figure out what you like and what you don't like, what your interests are, and what kind of people that you are most comfortable around. So basically like reflection, like self-reflection? Exactly. Gotcha. Yeah, I would even say even, even in that self-reflection or in that time spent by yourself, maybe practice some self-honesty. Asking yourself questions like, why do I do what I do? Which I know I mentioned in my previous video. And kind of like, kind of trace it back. Like once we realize what we're looking for, we can start to pursue like our goal where it actually is located. Not in the world, but in love, which is what we're meant for. Oh, oh, also, I would also say, like hang out with people who are going to like be honest with you, who see you for who you are, and who aren't afraid to tell you the truth. What are some ways in my life where I put on masks? Or areas of my life where I'm not as authentic as I should be? 
So maybe those are some starting points for you guys to start realizing who you are and who you've created to be, that you're not what anyone says about you. In a lot of ways, you're often not what you say about you. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you want to subscribe to The Culture Project, click right here. And if you want to check out more videos from us, click right here. And we'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace.